Welcome back, everyone. Controversial dying with dignity laws will once again be debated in South Australian Parliament today. It will be the 15th attempt to pass a bill making voluntary euthanasia legal in the state. Let's bring in uh, Richard Wilkins and Shelley Horton to discuss this. Dickie, Ooh. under the reforms, patient will need their decision endorsed by at least two doctors. All right. Let's open up a can of worms. Well, Where do you look, stand? I know people have very strong religious, spiritual, legal viewpoints on this. Personally, I think if you are suffering from a terminal illness and you're suffering from terrible pain, you should be allowed to go with dignity. I, so, you know, obviously there have to be multiple checks and balances. Doctors, well, there should be two. At least two, I would have thought that was a minimum. But yes, I think if you're in that circumstance and you want to go with dignity, certainly, I don't know about you, I don't want to be a drain on my family with, you know, when it's time to go, let's just have a, see your kids, have a big long sleep. You know, that's my view. I'm pro-euthanasia. What about you, Shelley? I'm actually agreeing with Richard, which is quite rare. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think these are people who are in terrific pain. And this is not something that... Um, is taken lightly. I don't think that anyone who's considering um, euthanasia actually would not weigh up all the options. So I think that this is actually really smart. I'm disappointed that it's taken 15 attempts to get through Parliament. I really hope it gets through. Well, it's time. not nationwide. This is only South Australia. Isn't but this something, can... should we be looking at this nationally? Yes. Well, probably. Yes. I mean, it... Northern Territory's been trying for years. I mean, well, it's... Yeah, and Philip Nitschke was based there for some time. Yeah. But, I mean, if South Australia is the place where you go, I mean, it, it'll create a, a, a business in An South Australia. Of a source, lot of people yeah. will, will go to South Australia. Or will the other states follow suit? It's a really it's, tough one. It will set a precedent. I can understand the concerns where some people are saying that what if a family member's bullied into it? Or, 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 or depressed? You know, or says that they don't want to be a burden on yes. their family when they're not actually a burden. Yes, yeah. But come on. Isn't this that is, the choice of the individual, though? It is. I it think so. has to be the individual. individual and also, choice, I yeah. think with two doctors, then you... It's, you're not going to get doctors who are very, take this lightly either. So I think it's really sensible. Let us know what you think on this one. Go on to uh, Facebook and Twitter. And if you do have a problem with anyone in your family as well with depression, please go to Lifeline immediately. Also making news this morning, the Australian Tax Office is cracking down on cheats. They've hired a team of private investigators to stalk social media sites and to catch people out. Richard, the so-called data doctors are going to be targeting people boasting about overseas trips private school enrolment and big ticket purchases. Now, some but, people say this is a breach of privacy. But don't reflect their income. Look, if you pay your tax, you've got nothing to hide. You know, you don't want to pay too much tax, you don't want to pay too little tax, pay what, pay what you're supposed to pay and, uh, you know, you don't... If, it's you don't like if you don't, If you don't speed, you're not going to get a speeding ticket. Um, I know that... what happens, say, if, 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 if you gifted me a car <laughs> or something, <laughs> right? Hypothetically. <laughs> Please go on, Sonia. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, you yes, know, say sir. you gifted your child a car, mm. and the tax office yeah. could be looking at that and saying, well, they don't earn that amount of money to be able to afford that car. Well, they can check it out. Where'd the car come from? Dad gave it to me. You know, I mean, mm. you know, I think... I don't really think it's... I think it's more than that. You know, people What if I gifted them cash, then? I don't know, David. I, I just think I just. <laughs> exactly. I just think, that's the thing. Instagram let's, the let's, picture of let's yeah, say, let's say, I, cash. yeah, Woo! let's say I come into a windfall and I don't want to pay tax on it, and I say, well, I've just gifted my kids ten thousand dollars. Well, you have to pay but, tax on it before you give it. to Yes, the kids. just because you don't mm. want to pay tax doesn't mean yeah. you. Is that not how it works? No, it's not how it works. <laughs> and I, I need to call my accountant. <laughs> it, it's important to remind everyone that when you put things on social media, it's publishing. There you go. So you are accountable for it. But so you know how people like to show off on social media. That's my favourite thing to do. I'm terrified. This. <laughs> oh my god, the tax well, man's going to come again. That's why me. God invented Instagram so people can show everybody else what a fabulous life they have. <laughs> but, isn't yeah. it? but even when you pay the right amount of tax, you still feel like, nervous about oh, it. I like, have I paid the right nervous. amount of tax? You know? I know. I always I'm give sure a little I extra. Here's, here's a little bit extra. I like <laughs> tip, I tip them. <laughs> <laughs> Buy yourself a drink. <laughs> finally, oh, finally, retail giant. Finally, my voice broke. And spoiler alert, <laughs> retail giant Big W is being accused of being a Grinch this Christmas. The store has announced that Santa's not going to appear for photos this festive season. Richard, uh, obviously there's a lot of Aussies that are outraged by this decision, but I would say that that Santa is probably being, uh, you know, busy. He's got, he, there's one in the mall. Mm -hmm. There's obviously yeah. there's the big stores like David Jones and Myers. Santa is a busy guy at Christmas time. There's no doubt about that. He's got some helpers. And his proxies who, are there too. He's got some helpers. I just think this is, this is just, you know, PC gone 
crazy to the nth degree. If you can't have a Santa in a store, what's... But if they're, no one's turning up to that Santa, because they're being stopped in a mall by... Other Santa. Other Santa. Is that, that the bears? reason? Is that the reason? Possibly. I think it's a very... I didn't this even know like Big a... W had a Santa. I always just went to, like, the mall or the mall's Westfield the best or... Stop. But it's important every year to get those Santa photos. Mm. I think mm. it's part of your childhood mm. and it's documented each year mm -hmm. and... Even when I you were there, you know, Santa. sitting on their knee crying. What I want to do is I want to be a Santa and see what it's like to experience that life. Yes. You know? You'd be what, bad Santa. Children. I'd be, wouldn't be bad Santa. <laughs> I'd be a good Santa. I think we need all the Santa's help as we can get at Christmas time. There you go. Mm -hmm. But well, it just goes to show you that Christmas is just around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, guys. Go on to Facebook and, and Twitter. Shirley. Talk to us about any of these topics. Just ahead, the latest Nine News headlines. Plus, why Australia's...